Okay, so picture this. Uh, 2024 election. Trump versus Harris, round two. You're following the race right. Checking those polls. Wow. Maybe even keep an eye on those uh, prediction markets. Everything seems pretty predictable. On track for another nail biter. Right. Until suddenly, right. a poll out of Iowa flips the script. That's right. Yeah, a real head scratcher. Especially considering Iowa's history, you know, yeah. siding with Trump in those recent elections. Exactly. So we're diving into this unexpected twist today, exploring this new poll ah. from the Des Moines Register and Mediacom. Yeah. And let me tell you, it's caused quite a stir, especially in those election prediction markets. We've got articles here analyzing the data and reactions. Mm -hmm. And let's just say things are getting interesting. Absolutely. A single poll mm -hmm. in this case uh, conducted by Ann Seltzer has sent ripples across the political landscape. Seltzer, you know, yeah. She's practically a legend yeah. when it comes to predicting elections, particularly in Iowa. Some say it's her methodology. Others say it's her deep understanding of the Iowa voter. Mm. But whatever it is, people trust her judgment. Precisely. When Seltzer releases a poll, people take notice. And this time, her findings have thrown a wrench into what many considered a predictable race. Yeah. What did this poll reveal that's got everyone talking well? Yeah. It showed Harris leading Trump in Iowa, 47% to 44%. Not a huge margin, but remember, this is Iowa, a state Trump won comfortably in both 2016 and 2020. Yeah. It's a significant shift. That suggests a potential vulnerability for Trump in a state he was expected to secure. And this unexpected result has sent those who follow election prediction markets into a bit of a frenzy. Oh, absolutely. These platforms, you know, the, the ones like Kalshi, polymarket, predict it. They're designed to reflect the collective wisdom. Yeah. Or perhaps the anxiety of the crowd. Yeah. When it comes to predicting election outcomes. Yeah. And let me tell you, the crowd was definitely reacting to this Iowa poll. Indeed. We see some dramatic shifts in the predicted odds on these platforms. For example, on Kelsey, Trump's odds of winning dropped from a comfortable 55% on Saturday before the poll to a dead heat with errors at 50% by Sunday morning. A five point drop overnight. And it doesn't stop there. Just a few days prior, Trump was sitting pretty at 64% on the same platform. So that's a 14 point swing in under a week. Talk about a roller coaster. It highlights just how sensitive these markets are to new information and how quickly perceptions can change based on a single data point, particularly when it comes from a respected source like Seltzer. And it's not just Kalshi. We're seeing similar trends across other prediction markets. Yeah. Polymarket, for instance, saw Trump's odds fall from 63% to 56%, while Predicted, which had already been predicting a narrow win for Harris, saw her lead widen even further after the Iowa poll. The overall consensus seems to be shifting and it's reflected in aggregators like election betting odds, which saw Trump's chance of winning the Electoral College drop to 52%, down 4.4% in a single day, while Harris is now at 47.5%, a jump of almost 10 points in the last week. We're talking serious money, too. Over $174 million has already been traded on Kalshi alone in relation to this election. Clearly, people are paying attention and putting their money where their predictions are. But the big question remains, why did this Iowa poll in particular cause such a dramatic shift in the perceived odds? It's a great question, and I think there are several factors at play here. Firstly, as we've touched on, Iowa holds a certain historical significance in presidential elections. Winning Iowa has often been seen as a strong indicator of success in the general election, a mm -hmm. kind of bellwether state. So when a poll shows a candidate trailing in Iowa, it sends a signal mm -hmm. that perhaps things aren't as certain as they seem. Right. It makes you wonder if this shift in Iowa could be a sign of a larger trend, a potential crack in Trump's previously solid base. Exactly. And then you add Seltzer's credibility to the mix. Her track record is remarkable, consistently delivering accurate predictions. This isn't someone easily dismissed or ignored. So when her poll shows a shift, it carries significant weight, further amplifying the impact of these findings. So we've got Iowa, historically a strong indicator, throwing a curveball with this poll. And then you've got Seltzer. A pollster whose insights carry a lot of weight, yeah. adding fuel to the fire. It's like the perfect storm for shaking up the race. Yeah, and let's not forget the timing of all this. The Iowa poll came hot on the heels of another event that grabbed headlines, Trump's controversial rally at Madison Square Garden. The article mentions some pushback against the event. So even though it wasn't directly related to the poll, it's hard not to see it as part of the bigger picture of how the race is being perceived. It's all about perception. You've got this yeah. poll suggesting a potential weakness for Trump right. in a key state. Mm -hmm. And then you've got this rally that, depending on who you ask, either energizes base yeah. or further alienated certain voters. It's all playing into this sense that maybe, just maybe, mm -hmm. things aren't as predictable as they once seemed. It's a great point. And I think it highlights a crucial aspect 
of how we interpret these election prediction markets. They're fascinating tools, no doubt, allowing us to see how events, polls, and public sentiment all contribute to the perceived odds mm -hmm. of a candidate winning. But it's important to remember that these markets are capturing a snapshot of current sentiment, not a guaranteed prediction of the future. So those dramatic swings in the odds we talked about earlier, with Trump dropping and Harris gaining ground, it's more about reflecting the immediate reaction to this confluence of events, rather than a definitive forecast of the election outcome. Precisely. They're a reflection of the right now. But elections are marathons, not sprints. There are so many factors yeah. that these models simply can't account for. Unexpected scandals, last-minute campaign strategies, even something as unpredictable as the weather on Election Day can influence voter turnout and ultimately swing the result. That's a great reminder that we can't get too caught up in the day-to-day -day fluctuations of these markets. They're a piece of the puzzle, uh, but not the whole picture. Absolutely. There's a human element to elections, a certain unpredictability that data models, no matter how sophisticated, can't fully capture. So while it's tempting to see these prediction markets as crystal balls, mm -hmm. we need to approach them with a healthy dose of skepticism. Yeah. And remember that the human factor, those unpredictable turns of events, that's what often makes the difference in a close race. Couldn't agree more. It's that element of surprise of not knowing for sure what's going to happen that keeps things interesting. But even with those caveats in mind, it's hard to ignore the significance of this Iowa poll and the way it's shaken things up. Mm. It's a reminder that in politics, even in a race that seems predictable, everything can change in an instant. And that, I think, is the most fascinating takeaway from all of this. We can analyze the data, track the trends, even try to predict the outcome. Mm. But ultimately, the beauty of an election lies in its inherent unpredictability. Yeah, it really does make you realize that even with all the polls and predictions, sure. the human element, the unpredictable nature of voters right. is what ultimately decides the outcome. Right. It's a reminder that we can't rely solely on algorithms and betting odds to tell us what's going to happen. Exactly. We need to stay engaged, keep our eyes on the polls, yeah. candidates, and all the events that unfold between now and November. Who knows what twists and turns are still to come? Indeed. That's the beauty of it all. But I think what we've seen here with this Iowa poll sending shockwaves through the race, it serves as a valuable lesson. What's that? Hmm. It's a reminder that in politics, assumptions can be shattered in an instant. What seems like a sure thing one day can become a nail biter the next. And that, my friend, is what keeps us all on the edge of our seats. It certainly does. And it reinforces the importance of staying informed, yeah. critically evaluating the information we encounter. And remembering that even in a world of data and predictions, mm -hmm. sometimes the most unexpected outcome is the one that unfolds. Well said. So to our listener out there, we leave you with this thought. As this election season heats up, mm. pay attention to the polls, yes. But also pay attention to the undercurrents, the narratives, the events that might not make the headlines, but could be influencing how people vote. Because sometimes the real story isn't in the numbers. It's in the hearts and minds of the voters. And in the end. It's their voices that truly matter. Absolutely. And on that note, we'll wrap up our deep dive into this fascinating turn of events in the 2024 race. Until next time, stay curious, stay engaged, and remember, anything can happen yeah. in the world of politics.